Project management is the discipline of initiating, planning, executing, controlling, and closing the work of a team to achieve specific goals and meet specific success criteria. A project is a temporary endeavor designed to produce a unique product service or result with a defined beginning and end undertaken to meet unique goals and objectives, typically to bring about beneficial change or added value. The temporary nature of projects stands in contrast with business as usual, which are repetitive permanent or semi-permanent functional activities to produce products or services. In practice, the management of these two systems is often quite different, and as such requires the development of distinct technical skills and management strategies. The primary challenge of project management is to achieve all of the project goals and constraints. This information is usually described in a user or project manual, which is created at the beginning of the development. The primary constraints of many things the secondary, and more ambitious, challenges to optimize the allocation of necessary inputs and integrate them to meet predefined objectives. History Until 1900, civil engineering projects were generally managed by creative architects, engineers, and master builders themselves. For example Vitruvius, Christopher Wren, Thomas Telford and Isambard Kingdom Brunel. It was in the 1950s that organizations started to systematically apply project management tools and techniques to complex engineering projects. As a discipline, project management developed from several fields of application including civil construction, engineering, and heavy defense activity. Two forefathers of project management are Henry Gantt, called the father of planning and control techniques who is famous for his use of the Gantt chart as a project management tool, and Henry Fiol for his creation of the five management functions that form the foundation of the body of knowledge associated with project and program management. Both Gantt and Fiol were students of Frederick Winslow Taylor's theories of scientific management. His work is the forerunner to modern project management tools including work breakdown structure and resource allocation. The 1950s marked the beginning of the modern project management era where core engineering fields come together to to work as one. Project management became recognized as a distinct discipline arising from the management discipline with engineering model. In the United States, prior to the 1950s, projects were managed on an ad hoc basis, using mostly Gantt charts and informal techniques and tools. At that time, two mathematical project scheduling models were developed. The critical path method was developed as a joint venture between DuPont Corporation and Remington Rand Corporation for managing plant maintenance projects, and the program evaluation and review technique, or PERT was developed by the United States Navy in conjunction with the Lockheed Corporation and Booz Allen Hamilton as part of the Polaris Missile Submarine Program. PERT and CPM are very similar in their approach but still present some differences. CPM is used for projects that assume deterministic activity times, the times at which each activity will be carried out are known. PERT, on the other hand, allows for stochastic activity times, the times at which each activity will be carried out are uncertain or varied. Because of this score difference, CPM and PERT are used in different contexts. These mathematical techniques quickly spread into many private enterprises. At the same time, as project scheduling models were being developed, technology for project cost estimating, cost management, and engineering economics was evolving, with pioneering work by Hans Lang and others. In 1956, the American Association of Cost Engineers was formed by early practitioners of project management and the associated specialties of planning in scheduling cost estimating, and cost schedule control. AACE continued its pioneering work and in 2006 released the first integrated process for portfolio, program and project management.
IPMA maintains its federal structure today and now includes member associations on every continent except Antarctica. IPMA offers a four-level certification program based on the IPMA competence baseline. The ICB covers technical, contextual, and behavioral competencies. In 1969, the Project Management Institute was formed in the USA. PMI publishes a guide to the project management body of knowledge, which describes project management practices that are common to most projects. Most of the time, PMI also offers multiple certifications, approaches. There are a number of approaches for managing project activities including lean, iterative, incremental, and phased approaches. Regardless of the methodology employed, careful consideration must be given to the overall project objectives, timeline, and cost, as well as the roles and responsibilities of all participants and stakeholders. The traditional approach A traditional phased approach identifies a sequence of steps to be completed. In the traditional approach, five developmental components of a project can be distinguished. Initiation, planning and design, execution and construction, monitoring and controlling systems, completion and finish point. Not all projects will have every stage, as projects can be terminated before they reach completion. Some projects do not follow a structured planning and or monitoring process and SIM projects will go through steps 2, 3 and 4 multiple times. Many industries use variations of these project stages. For example, when working on a brick and mortar design and construction, projects will typically progress through stages like pre-planning, conceptual design, schematic design, design development, construction drawings, and construction administration. In software development, this approach is often known as the waterfall model, i.e., one series of tasks after another in linear sequence. In software development many organizations have adapted the rational unified process to fit this methodology. Although RUP does not require or explicitly recommend this practice, Waterfall development works well for small, well-defined projects, but often fails in larger projects of undefined and ambiguous nature. The cone of uncertainty explains some of this as the planning made on the initial phase of the project suffers from a high degree of uncertainty. This becomes especially true as software development is often the realization of a new or novel product. In projects where requirements have not been finalized and can change, requirements management is used to develop an accurate and complete definition of the behavior of software that can serve as the basis for software development. While the terms may differ from industry to industry, the actual stages typically follow common steps to problem solving, defining the problem, weighing options, choosing a path, Implementation and Evaluation PRINCE2 PRINCE2 is a structured approach to project management released in 1996 as a generic project management method. It combines the original prompt methodology with IBM's MITP methodology. PRINCE2 provides a method for managing projects within a clearly defined framework. PRINCE2 focuses on the definition and delivery of products, in particular their quality requirements. As such, it defines a successful project as being output-oriented through creating an agreed set of products that define the scope of the project and provides the basis for planning and control, that is, how then to coordinate people and activities, how to design and supervise product delivery and what to do if products and therefore the scope of the project has to be adjusted if it does not develop as planned. In the method, each process is specified with its key inputs and outputs and with specific goals and activities to be carried out to deliver a project's outcomes is defined by its business case. This allows for continuous assessment and adjustment when deviation from the business case is required. PRINCE2 provides a common language for all participants in the project. 
the governance framework of PRINCE2, its roles and responsibilities, are fully described and require tailoring to suit the complexity of the project and skills of the organization. Critical Chain Project Management Critical Chain Project Management is a method of planning and managing project execution designed to deal with uncertainties inherent in managing projects, while taking into consideration limited availability of resources needed to execute projects. CCPM is an application of the theory of constraints to projects. The goal is to increase the flow of projects in an organization. Applying the first three of the five focus link steps of TOC, the system constraint for all projects is identified as are the resources. To exploit the constraint, tasks on the critical chain are given priority over all other activities. Finally, projects are planned and managed to ensure that the resources are ready when the critical chain tasks must start, subordinating all other resources to the critical chain. The project plan should typically undergo resource leveling, and the longest sequence of resource-constrained tasks should be identified as the critical chain. In some cases, such as managing contracted sub-projects, it is advisable to use a simplified approach without resource leveling. In multi-project environments, resource leveling should be performed across projects. However, it is often enough to identify a single drum. The drum can be a resource that acts as a constraint across projects, which are staggered based on the availability of that single resource. One can also use a virtual drum by selecting a task or group of tasks and limiting the number of projects in execution at that stage. Process-based management The incorporation of process-based management has been driven by the use of maturity models such as the OPM3 and the CMMI, and ISO, IEC 15504. Unlike SEI's CMM, the OPM3 maturity model describes how to make project management processes capable of performing successfully, consistently unpredictably in order to enact the strategies of an organization. Agile Project Management Agile Project Management encompasses several iterative approaches based on the principles of human interaction management, and founded on a process view of human collaboration. Agile-based methodologies are, most typically, employed in software development as well as the website, technology, creative, and marketing industries. This sharply contrasts with traditional approaches such as the waterfall method. In agile software development or flexible product development, the project is seen as a series of relatively small tasks conceived and executed to conclusion as the situation demands in an adaptive manner, rather than as a completely pre-planned process. Advocates of this technique claim that it is the most consistent project management technique since it involves frequent testing of the project under development. It is the only technique in which the client will be actively involved in the project development. The only disadvantage with this technique is that it should be used only if the client has enough time to be actively involved in the project. Agile is an umbrella term for multiple project management methodologies, including Scrum, a holistic approach to development that focuses on iterative goals set by the product owner through a backlog which is developed by the delivery team through the facilitation of the Scrum Master. Extreme Programming, a set of practices based on a set of principles and values, with a goal to develop that provides real value by implementing tight feedback loops at all levels of the development process and using them to steer development. XP popularized test-driven development and pair programming. Extreme Manufacturing, an agile methodology based on Scrum, Kanban and Kaizen that facilitates rapid engineering and prototyping. Crystal Clear, an agile or lightweight methodology that focuses on collocation and osmotic communication. Kanban, a lean framework for process improvement that is frequently used to manage work in progress within agile projects. Kanban has been specifically applied in software development. Scrum ban a mixed Scrum and Kanban approach to project management.
It focuses on taking the flexibility of Kanban and adding the structure of Scrum to create a new way to manage projects. Lean Project Management Lean Project Management uses the principles from lean manufacturing to focus on delivering value with less waste and reduced time. Extreme Project Management In critical studies of project management it has been noted that several PERT-based models are not well suited for the multi-project company environment of today. Using complex models for projects spanning a few weeks has been proven to cause unnecessary costs and low maneuverability in several cases. The generalization of extreme programming to other kinds of projects is extreme project management, which may be used in combination with the process modeling and management principles of human interaction management. Benefits Realization Management Benefits Realization Management enhances normal project management techniques through a focus on outcomes of a project rather than products or outputs, and then measuring the degree to which that is happening to keep a project on track. This can help to reduce the risk of a completed project being a failure by delivering agreed-upon requirements, outputs but failing to deliver the benefits of those requirements. In addition, BRM practices aim to ensure the alignment between project outcomes and business strategies. The effectiveness of these practices is supported by recent research evidencing BRM practices influencing project success from a strategic perspective across different countries and industries. An example of delivering a project to requirements might be agreeing to deliver a computer system that will process staff data and manage payroll, holiday and staff personnel records. Under BRM the agreement might be to achieve a specified reduction in staff hours required to process and maintain staff data.